Hey everyone, this is Jordi from Yapper Design and welcome to another exciting tutorial. Uh, first of all, I have to say that I'm sorry for my inactivity. Uh, Yapper Design had some background work, so I wasn't able to make any tutorials. But I'm making it up to you with this special tutorial. This tutorial is for all my Macintosh friends. In other words, the video editing program you see here is called Final Cut Pro and it only runs on a Macintosh. So to all my Premiere Pro friends, I'm sorry, but this ain't for you. But that doesn't mean you can't watch this tutorial. Okay, so this here is Final Cut Pro 7 from the uh, Final Cut Studio 3 package. It's the totally new Final Cut Pro. Okay, uh, it's just gonna be a little tutorial uh, about a new feature which is called Time Remapping. Well, I hope it's gonna be a little tutorial. Uh, because else it will be just boring for you to watch it. Uh, but I'm just gonna go quickly over it. Um, this is the little clip I have here. If we're gonna play it, you see it's the skater I found on Vimeo doing a cool trick. Um, uh, for those who already experimented with the time remapping and Final Cut Pro 6 or uh, older, maybe, uh, if you right click on a clip and say change speed, you can change the speed. But hey, what's this? This is something new. Yeah, this is the new time remapping feature in uh, Final Cut Pro 7. Uh, it's to make a smooth uh, time remapping. Uh, After Effects also have this kind of time rem remapping thingy, uh, which is also pretty cool. Uh, and now uh, Final Cut Pro has it. Uh, I don't know if Premiere Pro has it. Well, I haven't uh, checked it out yet. Uh, but this is Final Cut Pro now. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna say anything about this here because there's another way to do it, a uh, more professional way. Because if I click like this, this is to make a smooth uh, time remapping. I can uh, press a number in here, but a number doesn't say me anything. So I'm not gonna do it right here. Um, but what does, uh, what, what just, uh, is important is uh, are these three thingies here, uh, especially the frame blending. I'm just gonna explain it very quickly what frame blending is. If you have a one second clip with uh, 20 frames, so your clip is 20 frames per second, so we have 20 frames in one second video. Okay, that's pretty obvious. Um, if we're gonna make two seconds, so I have a slow motion effect on it, it will still be 20 frames because I can't create frames which doesn't exist. So it will still be 20 frames. I just said I can't create uh, frames that doesn't exist, but Final Cut Pro does. <laughs> With this thingy called frame blending, it will create extra frames between two frames which already exist. Okay, for those who don't understand what I'm saying, just check the checkbox, okay? Let's use it. Uh, I'm gonna change a percent here, let's say to 50%, it will just double up the time from 2 seconds to 4 seconds. But well, that's pretty obvious. I'm just gonna press cancel now. I'm gonna show you the professional way. Which is here. I'm gonna double click on my clip, so it will open up in the viewer. I'm gonna open up the motion tab, uh, where, you, where I can change the scale or rotation, stuff like that. But I'm not gonna do that now. I'm gonna uh, change the speed of it which is all the way down here. If you don't see it, just click on the triangle. Um, you see two numbers here, 0 and 72. 0 is frame 0 in the beginning of my video, see? And frame 72 is all the way up here, and this dot on the end of my video. So my video is going from all the way down to all the way up. So I'm gonna change this dot to 72, and this dot to 0. It will play in reverse. Okay, I hope you understand that. Now, this thingy has uh, one settled time. It's a static time. I can't change the time, but I do can change the frames. Uh, if you don't understand what I'm saying now, I will just show you. If I bring this dot down to 36, which is the half of uh, 72, it will, only, it will only play the half of the video. So we're gonna lose it here, and I'm gonna play it. And you see, it will go in slow motion, and it will stop in the middle of my video because I'm not playing all my frames, only the half of it. But we don't want that. So make sure your last dot is always ending up here. Okay, now I'm um, going somewhere in my time here. Let's say uh, this spot, 
I'm going to create a keyframe. I hope you understand what that is, because that's pretty basic stuff. Uh, I'm going to make another keyframe right here. And now I'm going to move the keyframes. See, I can, make, I can move it vertical and horizontal. Okay, so let's just say, for example, uh, right here somewhere. And this one, going to bring it down to here. So what's it going to do? It's just going to play normally until here. Then it's going to play in reverse back to here. And here it's going to play back normal to the end of the video. And for those who don't believe me, I will play it. But first, I have to render my video because I'm playing with HD footage, high definition footage, on a pretty old MacBook Pro. Not that old, the one from last year. Uh, it's uh, 2009 for those <laughs> who are watching this tutorial and the uh, cool future. Okay, so let me just play it. You see, up, and it's going back. Okay, it's gonna play it uh, a little bit slower now. Uh, it's playing, playing, playing to here. As you, um, to this dot, highest frame, and then it's going back reverse. Back to this dot here. Now it's just gonna play normally. Okay. Now, if you want this to be way faster, then you just move the dot to here. And now you will see it will move faster. And render it again, I'm sorry. Come on. Okay, uh, now we're going to play it now. You will see it will go, whoa, that was fast. Okay, but you saw, that's what th this here was more in slow motion in the end. Okay, now I'm, I'm thinking this is not smooth enough, so you can make it more smoother by right clicking one of these dots and say smooth. You see, and now it's going more smoothly. I'm going to press the other one, also smooth. And if you click on the uh, blue dots, you can change the type of smoothness. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> so I would say I want it like that. And like this. Okay, you can just play with it. There's something very crazy. Okay, let me just play it now and you will see it will follow this path. Woo. And that will be that is called smoothness. Okay, so it's not see now whoa. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is a little too uh let's just say it's yeah, let's just say more like that. That was a bad example. Oh, actually it's a stupid invention, doesn't it? The high definition. I need a totally new MacBook Pro now to run high definition and and, and smoothly. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna play it. Yeah, that's a little better, I think. Uh, so it's going uh, like normal speed. Here it's going faster, faster, faster. Oh, it's going back uh, slower, as you see, because it's the frames are not going. Uh, so fast, and here you see, I'm going way bang, bang. You see, here it's going very fast, very fast. Here we go, and here we go again. Um, up, pretty slow, pretty slow, boring, slow, and here, whoa, we're going fast again. Okay, I think you, you do understand that. Now, some other thing is you saying um, you want to um, you wanted to have uh, slower right here. Your clip will end in the middle, and you don't want that. Uh, right click your no. Make sure your dot here is on the up, uh, this way upside here. Um, uh, right click your clip. Say change speed. Change it to 50%, which will double up here. Thing I know we have a warning. Uh, it will remove all the keyframes. Not gonna read it now. Uh, all our work is gone. Um, so we have to start all over again. But this means. Um, we have a longer clip now, so um, we have more space here, okay, and time. We have more space and time. Now, if you're saying, oh, uh, actually not, I just wanna s want my clip to end right here, you can make a keyframe here and move it all the way up. Okay, and the rest will just be one still frame, but that doesn't matter. Just take your erase tool, cut near, uh, and just remove it, and uh, you have your video. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something out of this new feature. Um, here's one thing to buy Premiere. Uh, <laughs> here's one thing to buy a Final Cut Pro or Final Cut Studio Tree. Um, this was Jordi from Yepper Design, and check out our website yepperdesign.com because there will be more Final Cut Pro uh, tutorials. Uh, thank you for watching.